tutorials. Today we're looking at KNN supervised classification algorithm in MATLAB. So before we do anything else, just to say the inspiration for this came from this here. I didn't use all this material, but just the inspiration came from and just to look at it there. So there is a lab there that this Andrea set up and the text file is there now. My MNX file will be available, but the HTML version will be available in the description, as will the text file if you want to do it yourself. So I assume you know what K means is and what K and N is. You know, I can't go through it line by line. So I just gave K and N is fairly simple. There's no need to build a model, tune parameters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the disadvantage is, you know, as the as n increases, um, things it starts to decrease, but speed starts to increase a lot. So we have this here, and if we can see here, so we have lemons and oranges are mixed together, and we have measured the width and the height of the lemons and oranges. Now we're not differentiating between a lemon and an orange, we're just classifying them into five groups as we go on. So it's not the differentiating between lemons and oranges because you probably do that by color. But not that, it's just to group them into five groups. So there's two ways to read them in the data in, and that's method A. And method B is here. So I'm going with method B. It's just, but it's the same thing. So, so training data is the whole thing. So that's the important thing. So the training data is the 59 uh, entries without width or height, without the header. So that row is missing. Okay, so you see there we said the header lines in was one. So we've removed that from the data. So there's the training data. And there's the 59 entries. Uh, they're not supervised, so we have to get some sort of supervision. So so random number generator, the number of clusters is five, and we use the MATLAB command k-means, so just assign it. But the k-means, which I assume you're familiar with, and then when we do the k-means, there's the training data there. So the belongs to first entry belongs to group two, second entry group two, third entry group two, fourth entry, group four, group four, group four, etc. Let's do some test data. So three rows and two columns. So we just want to see where they, they look like. So the blue crosses are the original ones. And then RO is red dots. So we just plot them. Now we haven't classified them yet, but there they are there. Now let's run the K and N. Now I'm using the MATLAB command fit C K and N. You may wish to use um, that chap's own code, but I took it a different route here. So you get the properties and the methods of the models. On one way, I just got the class names just to give you a little example there. So use the dot notation. So model dot class names. Obviously, that would be one, two, two, four, five. Okay. So I generated the minimum, the mean, and the max of the training data. Now remember, the training data will be the the height and the width with the classification. So display an X new, that'll be the first row. So that'll be the minimum. 
values with the minimum values are five point just can't get it there, five point eight four and one. So I'll just go back there. So the minimum width is five point eight, the minimum height is four. Hope I got that, yes, four. And the minimum classification is obviously one. The average values of the training data, so the minimum width, sorry, the average width, the average height, the average width is 7.1, the average height is 7.6, and the average training, sorry, the average classification is 2.7458. And then the max values are 9.6, 10.5, and 5. And then other information you can get the label, the score, and the cost. So for X new, for those ones we made up just above, the labels are four, two, and three. The score, so that's row one, there's number four, yeah, so that's four. Remember the second classification there was two, so on the second row that's two, and then it's three, and then the cost is just a complement of this array here. So everywhere you have zero, you have a one, and everywhere you have a one, you have zero, and we can see it there. We're just going to get the the mean um, for the prediction of the training data, and the mean is two, and also um, I have the three values there just by accident, but that's just to have all three of them there with the mode. Mode is 7.3, 7.1, and 2. So the number that occurs the most often is 3. Sorry, the number that occurs the most often for the width is 7.3, the height is 7.1, and the classification that occurs the most often is 2. Okay, hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.